Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is Sportsnet News. I'm Joe Borek, and the reason I'm laughing is it's going to be the second time in 10 minutes I'm doing a video on the Ducks because they had a trade come in right after I finished my trade recap video, which is for Evgeny Dadanov. They get veteran Evgeny Dadanov, who can still give you at least C-level production for a guy that's doing nothing for you in the contract of Ryan Kessler, um, <clears throat> plus also give them Colin Moore, and the Ducks, I just talked about them accumulating uh, picks. They were able to accumulate a second round pick in that deal as well, which is honestly really good for the Ducks because looking at that, I guess that's just um, Vegas being Vegas, basically, and um, wanting to get rid of the contract of Dadano if you then obviously have money because you put Kessler on LTIR and you have a veteran defenseman in. Uh, John Moore, who's a good leader in the locker room, but Anaheim receiving a second round pick in either 23 or 24 draft, um, according to Sportsnet, or, or the TSN trade tracker, excuse me, is amazing in that deal, because you got rid of Kessler's contract, and then John Moore, the short-lived duck, um, then ends up going to the Vegas Golden Knights as well, and you were also able to get a second. Now, I understand, yeah, they took the Danoff's contract, but they also traded away Ryan Kessler's dead cap hit to Vegas, so it's definitely very good by the Ducks. I would think like a third round pick maybe at most, a fourth round pick you would get with that. To get a second as the Anaheim Ducks in that uh, situation, that's a very um, smart and wise thing to do uh, for them. That is for damn sure, um, where uh, I said it last video that they definitely had an A-plus offseason. That just, or not offseason, a trade deadline, where that just continues to provide that as uh, Pat Vierbeck, um had a great first deadline as he really um, brought in guys that are great for the future of the team. He brought in a second-round pick. The Danoff's not obviously great for the future, but he's a guy that's a good veteran presence to have there for at least the rest of the season that, like I said, can give you at least C-level production at the very least and maybe start striking a fire again in a new change of scenery with all the skill and young uh, flying forwards they have on the Anaheim Ducks. And then you have, obviously, like I said, for Raquel, uh, the second-round pick, Aston Reese, uh, Simone and Callie Klang actually said his name better that time, uh, for Lindholm and Cody Caron, uh, first round pick in 2022, 2023, and 2024, second, Jorho Bakanainen and John Moore, and then Delorier is a third round pick, which I thought was very good to get for him as well, a great enforcer valuable for the playoffs for Minnesota, Anaheim gets a, a third round pick back. Uh, Josh Manson, Drew Hellison, and 2023 second. So again, as I said in the video I just did 10 minutes ago on the Ducks, fantastic trade deadline, A++ deadline. This continues to cement that as, yes, they got rid of the contract of Kessler and they took on the contract of the Danoff, but still, I think this is amazing that they were able to get a second round pick. I would think more of a 3 4 in this type of deal. Great job by them to continue to bring in high notch assets. Whether it's a 23 or a 24, a second round pick is still a very good asset. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. This has been the second video in about 15 minutes on the Anaheim Ducks. Peace out, everyone.